everyone. We are at IMTS 2022, about to head over to the OGP booth to talk with Tim Calby about their CMM, the Flex Point, and some interesting features that they have on there with vision and optics. So let's go over there and see what's going on. everyone we are here at IMTS 2022 in the OGP booth with Tim Calvi behind us is their CMM flex point Tim why don't you start by telling us just an overview of the flex point and how some of the unique features on here serve the market sure and, and thanks Shay appreciate the opportunity absolutely glad to be back at IMTS uh, and OGP itself is celebrating uh, just over 75 years of history. Congratulations. Um, so throughout the booth, you see this progression coming through from contour projections uh, systems, contour projector systems, mm -hmm. and to the, uh, the smart scope systems, the fusion and so forth, and we get to the flex point. Very so good. this is a natural progression for us. Yeah. So behind us here is the flex point. This is a 7.11.6. In each of our flex point models, we have three of those. We have extended Y axis on each of those. Okay. This is a 7.11.6. Uh, mm -hmm. um, unique about this, uh, particular uh, product is the multi-sensing capability. So we're very big in the multi-sensing. Mm -hmm. What is very unique here is that we have this all in the articulating head. So the system comes with the uh, uh, reddish off scanning probe mm -hmm. as well as the optics with an option of the laser. So if we get a close up at some point, you probably will, we'll see that we have that all together on the articulating head. That gives us an advantage of not having to dock a sensor, not having to recalibrate a sensor, mm -hmm. and being able to uh, continue on with the, uh, with the inspections using a variety of methods to handle the application. So Tim, do you think you can get into a few more details about the different characteristics that are on the laser and optics system? Yes, thank you very much. So in addition to what's naturally common to everybody else is a scanning probe, mm -hmm. on the optics itself, the uh, lens is telecentric, so we have a, a telecentric optical system. Um, and a, uh, a controllable ring light on there. So you can control the sectors to illuminate the edges of the part, surface of the part, and so forth. So that comes in very handy, having those type of controls on there. As far as the laser option on the system, mm -hmm. that's an interferometric laser. That's our Telestar um, off-axis laser. Okay. Uh, that sports a 75 millimeter working distance, which mm -hmm. is very cool. Uh, very accurate laser system that we uh, add to the system. Very good. And if you were giving some customers some advice here and they bring you apart and they say, should I use a regular probe or something like the VersaFlex here, what kind of helps you make that decision on if the multi-sensor is the best option for the customer? Yeah, and very good question. And that depends on, on their parts. Mm -hmm. Certainly some can be just a, 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 a probe part. Mm -hmm. uh, but the customers usually know it's like, oh, we have a very difficult time measuring this. Uh, and they'll kind of give you a couple scenarios and say, eh, yeah, yeah, I think we have the solution here for you, yeah. right? And it's just, just nice to show that off. It's very unique. Sure, so typically more of a complex part. Is that what you guys usually see on a CMM uh, like this? It is, and the, and the multiple features. So a, sure. uh, let's say from a, a, a stamped sheet metal part, mm -hmm. right? Um, you'll do some of the uh, uh, things with probe on there possibly. Uh, but really those edges, anything with edges that you want to get, okay. that's what optics excels at. And that's what brings that together for us. Very good. And what types of environments, shop floors, where are you guys seeing most of these at? Industries? Uh, yeah, so in the industries, uh, right now in, in the government, the medical okay. uh, and the aerospace industries, kind of the same as the breadth of our other products. Right. Uh, so not too many limitations there on, on the industry. Very right? good. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for being with us. If we have a viewer that wants to learn a little bit more about the Flex Point, where should they be directed to to get some more information? I think from a website perspective, you go to uh, ogpnet.com, mm -hmm. um, and that'll get you a uh, right to us. Perfect. Well, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks for having me, Shay.